practice suggestions for practicing timing, counting on notes. Is a metronome helpful? Thanks for your question. So I think it's very helpful to use a metronome. However, if you're learning something for the first time, if you're learning a piece, do not use a metronome while learning it. I, especially if you're a beginner. Maybe if you've been playing a few years, it's fine. But you really need to, you, the reason is to say you're learning some, I don't know, like cash jig or something. You may need to be fluctuating in tempo for the benefit of your fingers to figure it out. And maybe you're doing smaller pieces and bigger pieces. So you don't want to be locked in to uh, a, the robot tempo of a metronome or a beat or something. But if you do want to improve your timing, for sure a metronome can help. You know what else can help is play long tracks. The, the ones I got on Fiddlehead, there's uh, usually every song has got play long tracks for each little part. That's good for timing as well because you've got to sync up with that. And if you're just playing on your own, I see it happen all the time, and I know I do it a little bit too. If you're always playing on your own without a beat, your tempo will be, be fluctuating. It just will happen. But you can train yourself, and the metronome is the most tried and true way of doing that. And all I would say, and I've said this earlier in, in this session, is that don't use it all the time. Take it away practice without it, then go back to it. Not only is that good practice, because then you won't be dependent on it, but also I think it's more enjoyable. And then when you do turn it on, you'll get something out of it. When you turn it off, you'll get something out of it. But that, that would be my main advice for timing is that, and there's more advanced things for metronome practice that I'd like to get into, but the ba that's the basic idea. Some other things you can do, I'll give you one other suggestion for timing. So, say we're, say we're doing a, t a tune. Here's a t here's a tune with like a tricky rhythm called Shooting Creek. So I think this beginning part is tricky. I'm tapping my foot. By the way, I'm not recommending that you tap your foot if you're because that's actually a whole other skill to develop. More on that in a minute. But what you can do is say you have the metronome going. Just pretend like my tapping foot is the metronome. You set down your fiddle. This is challenging. Maybe more challenging than playing it is to clap it. Do, 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 do. Maybe start with singing it. Do, 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 do. Just that piece. Do, 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 do. And then clap it. Do, do. Just clap. Add back singing. And so on. That's an amazing practice for getting timing, is to, is to set down your fiddle, focus on it using your voice, clapping. Foot tapping is a whole other thing. It's something you need to practice on its own. But since nobody asked about that, I'm not gonna go into it because there's other questions. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. Thank you for your question. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.